Right, so I'm at the airport now after a fraud security check because uh, apparently I needed to have an ETA as well next to an ESTA because I'm going over Toronto. But uh, and it's extremely busy also at the airport. It's the beginning of the uh, Easter holiday here in uh, Belgium. So yeah, just making it on time. They're already boarding. So I have to hurry a bit to the plane. But uh, Falcon Heavy, here we come. just arrived in uh, Toronto right now. It's been like 20 years since I've been here. I remember the CN Tower and uh, a huge underground mall that was here. Um, we were half an hour early but that meant we had to wait on the taxiway for our gate to clear and that took about 15 minutes something like that so we didn't win that much. Now I have to get to security. It's a double security check first for Canada even though I'm not leaving the airport and then the uh, US check um, yeah I'll be checking out the lounge because I have a four hour uh, intermediate step or four hour wait time right now and then uh, I'll probably try to connect to home base talk to the kids um, and then yeah we're off for the second leg of our trip to Orlando Evening guys, I arrived at the hotel finally. It's, uh, if I calculate it, I woke up this morning at 6.30. Right now, my Belgian time, it would be something like four o'clock in the morning. So I'm really tired right now. And uh, yeah, looking forward to get some shut eye. Tomorrow I'll be sleeping in and then we'll see when we can visit the space center. And maybe if we have some time left. Uh, we'll do a visit to Disney World as well. So, good night. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this uh, sunny morning here in Orlando. Today, I am going to visit the Kennedy Space Center, and uh, that means we're going to look at some very cool rocket stuff, and it's an entire day trip. Uh, it's a guided tour and then I'll have some time to explore things myself as well, make some videos. Uh, really looking forward to this. And then tomorrow we'll have the rocket launch, uh, hopefully, because the weather has turned a little bit worse now. Uh, yesterday was fine, but tomorrow I looked at the weather forecast and they were expecting rain after 6 p.m. And the launch is at 6.30, so yeah, not sure what that means. Uh, hopefully that will clear up and I can still get to see the rocket launch there. But uh, today, Kennedy Space Center. So come on, let's go. Right now I'm at the uh, Saturn V Center at Kennedy Space Center and behind me there, there's a very big Saturn rocket. So it is still the most powerful rocket that has ever been built. Uh, even more powerful than the Falcon Heavy that we're here to see. And it is huge. Look at that. Look at how far along that goes. So yeah, that's a huge rocket here. And it's impressive to see. I remember when I saw the Falcon 9 outside of SpaceX. Um, I felt kind of underwhelmed. I'd expected it to be bigger. But this thing, this is really big. So let's see what else is here.
Hey guys, just a short update. It's Tuesday today. It's 6 35 p.m. So that means that normally I should have been at the launch, but the launch has been postponed until Wednesday with another backup window on Thursday at the same time. Um, that poses a problem because normally tomorrow I would board my plane back home and that would mean I would miss the launch. So I decided to extend my stay here with the hotel and rebook a flight um, so I can actually attend the launch. But I'm not sure whether I actually need the additional day. So I'm taking a bit of a gamble in the sense that I will actually book my flight when I know the launch is actually happening or is has happened. So yeah, that means that I can only book my flight tomorrow when I know for sure that the launch is actually happening. If that is the case, then I will go back home on Thursday. If not, I'll extend until Friday, but after that I really have to get home because my wife is home with the three boys and it's not easy for her as well. And I do have to keep that in mind a little bit. But I came here to see a launch. It would be really disappointing if I would have to leave without seeing the actual launch. So yeah, taking a bit of a gamble, but Let's see how that works out. Uh, should be fine. Enough flights are going back to Europe and uh, that should leave me with enough options to get back home. So hopefully catch you guys tomorrow at the launch site. So today the weather is looking a lot better and the event is still going on at the moment. Looking forward to this. Uh, had an early lunch now and I'm walking to the uh, hotel which is about two to three miles from where I had my lunch. It's a nice walk, it's nice weather so that's uh, nice as well. Uh, there we will gather with the uh, Tesla folks and I think a lot of uh, other YouTubers I know the guys from the Tesla show are definitely going to be there. A couple of guys that I met via the Facebook uh, groups those are going to be there as well. So it's going to be a fun family gathering. Um, we are going to drive to the observation tower from where we will see the launch and uh, probably have a good view on the double boost, the boosters coming back with the double sonic boom or actually I should say the uh, quadruple sonic boom if I compare it to the last time that the boosters came back. Uh, that's going to be a pretty sight. Have a good zoom lens, pretty, pretty far away, but uh, that should be fine. I'm really looking forward to meeting the other guys, the other YouTubers and see who will actually be there and uh, yeah, get to know the guys. Everybody's uh, flocking together and look who's here. We've got uh, Starman behind us. He's supposed to be on the spaceship, but uh, he's here to watch the Tesla launch with us, which is uh, cool. <laughs> All right, so we are going to go on the buses. There does not seem to be a lot of uh, people here and they've got two buses, so we'll be nice and comfy there. And uh, traffic is also not too bad um, so yeah we'll uh, be parting a little bit later than we anticipated but we'll get there way on time Right, sweet, we are here and right behind me there is the tower where we are going to watch the event from. So I'm uh, with this badge, I'm on the seventh floor, which should give me a great view from height. And hopefully we can all get to the balcony and get uh, enough room to film because there's a lot of uh, cameras around here right now. So let's go. It's 
So right now we are still waiting on the launch. Uh, the launch has been postponed, wait about two hours. Hopefully uh, it will be okay. There were some high winds apparently. Let's hope they die down and we still get to see the launch today. In the meantime I've been meeting all these cool people like Ben Sullins and Kim from like Tesla. The guy from What's Inside. Uh, the president of the Tesla Club in the UK, which is also a nice guy. Had a few uh, nice chats with those people. I'm really having a good time here and uh, I hope you guys uh, are having a good time too. So we're here at the seventh floor of the building and we have a really nice view of the, uh, the Falcon Heavy back there, which is a long ways away. Um, but let me zoom in on that for you for a little bit so you can see it a lot better. And then when we move that way, between, uh, between those cranes, then that's where LZ1 and LZ2 is going to be and we'll get a spectacular view of the uh, two boosters coming back down to Earth. Bad news, the launch has been cancelled for today due to high altitude winds that are not very favorable apparently. Um, but yeah, that means that I took a gamble with my flight and I guess I'll be staying another day. Need to uh, get in touch with my wife, see if she's okay with that, I hope so. Um, but yeah, it's not easy for her and I'd love to be home as well. I've been here since Saturday already, looking forward to the launch and now uh, we're at such a wonderful location. And yeah, I guess uh, we'll have to see. They'll make an announcement soon inside for us and then we'll see what our options are.